Northwest artists are passionate about art, and Golden Road Arts extends their passion through education. In association with working artists, we're on an arts mission, supporting students, parents, and teachers with online live and recorded examples introducing children to art. The Golden Road Arts nonprofit and Northwest Artists inspire students to learn art because there's a need for each child to create. Golden Road Arts, encouraging and supporting the arts and arts education now and for the future. Good morning, I'm Barbara Mason, Golden Road Arts, and I'm here with a couple of fine young men who are going to help me do a little art demonstration today. So, Hi, I'm Weston. And, Atticus. and Atticus. Atticus and Weston, they're going to help me do this. So how old are you, Atticus? Eight. And Weston, how old are I'm you? I'm two years older than him. Ten. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a really fun project today. We're going to use school glue, but you could actually use regular glue. It doesn't have to be school glue. But we, this is what we have. And we're going to draw with it, and then we're going to cover it with salt. And what happens is the salt is going to stick to the glue. And then once it sticks to the glue, we're going to use a little water-soluble paint on it. We're just going to use watercolors. And um, it's going to make a beautiful design. And we, we tried this yesterday, didn't we, boys? Yeah. We tried it yesterday, and it worked pretty well. But yesterday, we just used a piece of heavy paper, and it was a little floppy. So today, we're going to use a piece of cardboard, which is going to work a little better. OK, put that down. All right, here you go. OK, so who's going to be first? Are you going to be first? All right, there you go. So we're just going to make a design on here. Like scribbles. Yeah, there you go. Any way you want. Ooh, that looks pretty cool. So you can make something that's real, or you can just scribble. Atticus is doing a really nice scribble here. Yesterday I made a flower. That was very pretty. I like that flower. We'll, we'll, we'll show those pictures that we did yesterday too. So when we get done, we'll have um, not only the um, not only what we did today, but we'll have what we did yesterday too. Oh, Weston, you're making your name. How clever is that? Pretty cool. What's that? Nope. That's why I saved room for it. A name and name in two parts. Pretty good, Weston. Okay, so now once we get the glue part done. Oh, that looks pretty good. Okay, so now we got the glue part done, we're going to get the salt part. And um, we found yesterday that um, we she used way too much salt. We used a lot of salt. We had salt everywhere, so we've saved it. And we've got it in our, our, our uh, cottage cheese container here. Watch, she pours a bunch on. So we're just going to put it all over. She's being more careful because she's on camera. Yeah, do you think so? I don't know if I'm being more careful. So this is what was left from yesterday. But I think we still are going to need some more. Fortunately, we have more. So this is uh, plain salt from Safeway. Costs a dollar for this container of salt. 99 cents. Yeah, 99 cents. You could get the more expensive salt that had uh, iodine in it, but this is just regular salt. OK, so what we're going to do yeah. is we're going to shake this around a little bit. And then pour it on my And we're going to dump it on Weston so that we don't um, waste any salt. Weston. My name's going to be pretty. My okay. scribbles are going to be pretty. I think we're going to have salt everywhere when we're done. Well, we are. It's all over okay, me. Okay, so we want to make sure to get it all over There's the glue. There's a little bit of pebbles on me. Okay, ah. so what we're going to do now is we're going to dump it off. Okay, so. Now it looks like no. We're going to save this salt because we're going to use it later for another project. So, boys, do you remember what we did yesterday with the with yeah, the paint? And then we it. Yeah, and how did we? What did we? What was the first thing we did with the paint? We got, we got a lot of water. Right, we got a little bit of water in each one so that they were um, soft. Oh, this thing you have to use watercolors. Yeah, because the watercolors are hard when you open them up. So they're kind of solid. So there's one for each of you. There's a brush for each one of you. One brush. Okay. Hey, brush. And here's our water. So we're good. 
Okay, let's put that in the middle. So we'll put a little water in each one. And then when you put the when you put the paint on the salt, what we found uh, worked really well is that you just barely touch the salt, and the salt is so um, porous that it just immediately sucked up the paint. Like this. Yeah, let's get it a little closer to you though, so you're not reaching clear across the table to do it. Let's put that in the middle. I'm going to start with some purple. Yeah. These turned out so pretty. It was just really impressive how nice they looked. And then we dried them in the sun. Yeah, we put them out in the sun. It's such a nice hot day today. It was really easy to put them out in the sun. It's so quiet. Yeah. Let's you should move this up a little bit. You have a little bit of control when you don't have it sticking out there so far. I think you need a little more water. Yeah, you want to be sure you've got got water in your paint. You want to be sure you got water in your paint. Let's put this on the. Would it be better to have this on the other side? Yeah. Let's put it over here. The good thing about using um, watercolor is it's really easy to clean up. It doesn't mean that um, if you get it on your clothes it'll wash out though because it's still pigment. So you want to be sure and wear an apron or wear old clothes. I guess that would be good too. Or I guess if it was summer you could just take your shirt off, right? Mm. Which it is summer. Yeah. yeah. It is summer. Salt everywhere here. Well, you guys are doing a good job. That's looking really good. So what grade are you boys going to be in this fall? Fifth, third. Fifth and third. So the boys are going to do a kind of unusual thing this fall. Um, because of we're in the middle of the pandemic, the boys are going to go to school in their um, basement, right? We're going to get a bunch of friends, and they're going to have a teacher come to their house, and they're going to have school in their basement. That's pretty interesting, isn't it? About what, what eight kids? Mm -hmm. Ten? Four, are they going to be, you're going to get four friends? I think we're going to get five friends. Five friends each. So that's going to be ten children or, tw or eleven children? Twelve. Ten. Ten children. Oh, well, that'll wow. be interesting. That, that should be, yeah, it'll be, it'll be fun, but it probably won't be quite as much fun as actually going to school. But at least you'll be able to have recess. recess. Oh, I meant it. Maybe I accidentally mixed some brown in. This looks pretty good. I like the way you're doing this. You're being really careful. How? Well, you're just being careful. You're not slopping it everywhere. It looks good. Because that would be in the salt. Yeah, well, it just would be... Not as pretty to get it all over the paper, but it still looks pretty good. Yeah, the more colors you use, the prettier it'll be. And you also mix in the green with the yellow, I guess. Yeah, so what happens if you um, what happens if you mix uh, mix uh, red and yellow? What do you get if you mix red and yellow? Like brown and orange. Brown and orange. Well, you know, red and yellow are both cool. warm colors. Warm colors. Warm the cool colors. colors are blue. The blues. When blue and yellow play together, what color do they get? Green. Green, exactly. And what happens if, uh, what happens if, what happens if red and blue play together? What color do they get? No, well, maybe, but more likely they get they get kind of a purple. And then if red and yellow play together, they're gonna get what color? 
brown. Well, that's green and orange that make brown. I think they're going to get orange. Oh, Weston, that's looking pretty good. That's really nice. So now I think what we're going to do is we're going to set these aside so they can dry as soon as Atticus is done with his. They're really beautiful. And we'll take pictures not only of these, but we'll take pictures of the ones that we did yesterday so that we'll have uh, some samples to show you how to do this. Um, it does take a while for them to dry, and then once they're dry, uh, sometimes the salt comes off, so you have to be a little careful moving them around. Oh. But um, they are very, very pretty and very fun to do and very easy to do. The salt is just like... Um, the salt is just like a sponge. It just soaks up the water. You did a really nice job of that, Wes. I think that was really good. I like mine. Good job, Atticus. Done. Okay, so we have finished our uh, beautiful salt paintings. And now yesterday when we um, decided to do these, salt, these paintings with the salt, the boys wanted to make clay, but we were missing a critical ingredient. We didn't flour. have any flour because we're at the studio. So we're going to put these aside and we're going to let them dry. <laughs> and today we're going to make the uh, we're going to go ahead and make the um, dough. Salt. So we're going to show you how to do that. So the first ingredient we need is um, salt. Yeah. We need salt. So today so. kind of revolves around salt. Yeah, it's our it's our salt day, huh? <laughs> and then there's already the art fair. Do you think he's going to help us? So we've got our flour here. So we need exactly two cups of flour, exactly. So that means we got to make sure smooth on the top. Let's see how's that doing. Pretty good. Want to make sure we get it exact. Okay, there's one cup. Yeah, uh, you want to do the next one, Lars? Get it nice and... <laughs> Flower explosion. Okay, here. Here, we can, we can... No, that's pretty good. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, dump it in. Dump. Okay, now we're going to get the salt. Wait, we need this for the salt. Oh, we do? Are you using the same one? So we got two cups of flour. And we're going to have one cup of salt. So wait a second. Let's use up our salt that we... Don't worry, we have a lot of salt. Let's use up our salt that we had from uh, this morning. So we'll start with that. Boy, it's just not heavy. Okay. That is not filled up. Why don't you sit it down here while we put the salt in so that... so that? Oh, well, that's all right. I just want it to be too heavy. Okay, here we go. So we're going to fill this with one cup of salt. I think we might run out soon. <laughs> Same. I don't know. I think there's a cup Maybe in here. Maybe a lot of salt. <laughs> One whole cup of salt. <laughs> so you probably don't want to use like okay. a salt grinder or anything. Okay, so dump that in. I'm not even going to get up to here. Dump that in. Okay, so then we'll put this down here. Shake it off. All right, so what we want to do is stir this up. We're going to mix the salt and the flour together. So it's We're warm water. Warm water, yeah. So after you mix this up, you're supposed to let it set for an hour before you use it. Okay, so and you're supposed to put this in just a little bit at a time. Okay. You want to let Wes do it? Are you sorry? Is your arm getting tired? His arm's getting tired. Yeah, my arm is getting tired. Okay, there's all our water. That was um, one cup of water. Like not... So it's two cups of flour, one cup of salt, and one cup of water. And I got some wax paper right here, so let's put some wax paper out to use. So once you get it to this point where it's mixed up, then you have to knead it with your hands. And um, is that the fun part? Well, fun part's actually. You got to make sure it's all together. Let's see if we can mix it just a little bit more. Let me help you a little bit here, honey. This is kind of hard to do. It's kind of hard to be... Um... Get it all mixed in. OK, 
Okay, so here, take this, take this stuff. Put your hands over here, Atticus. Okay, so just, this dry stuff. Okay, now rub your hands together, and you'll get most of it off your hands. That's it. Okay, so now in this sack right here, this is what I made earlier. So this is what we're actually gonna gonna make our stuff out of. So have you guys given any thought to what you're gonna make? Nope. I have no idea. Well, actually, I did. I'm gonna make so, a snowman. Okay, so I put that back. That. Put that back because we gotta let it set for an hour. So we're gonna set this aside here. And we're going to work with our, we're going to work with the stuff that we mixed up earlier. And so, um, you don't have to put it in the fridge. I don't think so. Actually, what you're going to do, what we're going to do with this, so we're going to put it out in the sun. And we're going to let it dry in the sun. You can put it in the oven, 180 degrees for an hour or two to dry it. Or you can just let it dry in the air, but it really needs heat to dry. So I'm going to give you each half. And you can make anything you want, and then, and then what I have here is I have a, I have a piece of, um, it's a piece of foam core, but a piece of cardboard would work. And, I just and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a, I'm going to piece of, put a piece of foil over the foam core. What are you going to make? Well, actually, I'll make a candy cane. So, so after we make this and we dry it. Um, do you think that we could paint it? Uh, yeah, that's what my class did. You painted it? You did this in school? Yeah. And, and was it fun? Yeah, we painted it with acrylic, but it's uh, not watercolors. What, what did you make in school? Oh, we were making Christmas ornaments. Oh, Christmas ornaments. Oh, that's a good thing. Hold on. Can, yeah, I, make some, can I make something too? Huh? Sure. So, you know, if you took it and you made a... What if you did it like this and you made a... You know, uh, you could do this. Look at this. You could make almost anything you wanted out of this. So when you use this clay, because it's got so much salt in it, when you get done, your hands feel really funny. They feel dry. They feel dry. So probably when you're done, you should go wash your hands. Get the salt off. I think I'm going to just turn this over here. I've heard YouTubers say that before. Okay, I just made a big circle thing. Circle. Yeah, it does make your hands feel really funny, doesn't it? Really dry. That looks like Artie. Eh. Oh, he doesn't have teeth. He looks like an old an old wolf. That looks like a cow. <laughs> oh, that, you think it's a cow? No, that looks like um, <laughs> that looks like his grandpa who lost all his teeth. Yeah, he does look kind of toothless, doesn't he? No, it's elf grandpa. He has pointy ears. Oh, now he looks even more like a cow. Mm -hmm. I make a hat. I'm making an artist's oh, face. a hat is a good thing. Well, we'll put our clay out in the sun, and after it's dried, maybe the boys will come back and paint it, and we can have a painting session. Would that be fun? Yeah. Yeah. So we usually use uh, water-soluble paint in um, at Golden Road because uh, we want to be able to wash it off ourselves and hopefully out of our clothes, although the boys are wearing aprons today because... Uh, just because it's water-based doesn't mean it washes out of your clothes, so we're careful. Okay, well, here's the head so far. That looks good, yeah. I'm gonna lay it down. Anything that I should poke on eyes with? Oh, wait. It's this outer thingy. You it's can use your, outer. Use your, just use your finger to poke the eyes out. It's outer! We should, <laughs> we should get some tools. If we do this again, we'll have to get some, some tools. Mm, well, I'm making this outer thingy. 
Let's see how it feels. Like his nose? Yeah. <laughs> now he looks like a pig. <laughs> <laughs> I think that they go through the stage. Yeah. Now you have to make it circular. Like this. Doesn't this look like a better outward thingy? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Make up some little eyeballs. Mm-hmm. Eyeball. Oh, I think. Yes. Couple days quick. You can keep this clay. You can keep this clay in the refrigerator for a few days, but it isn't going to keep very long. So you need to probably use it within a couple days. Make something good and let it dry. And I think you could use um, cookie cutters. Yeah. You could use. Um, you could make something flat and make lots of marks in it. Well, look at this. Look at this, Atticus. Oh, there looks like somebody with three eyes. <clears throat> I'll finish this one. We'll get this all mixed up, and then um, you can take this home. You can go out in the yard and do this when you get home. It'd be good to do it out on the picnic table out in the yard because it's pretty messy for in the house. If you make stuff at home, let this sit for a little while before you use it and you make stuff at home and then you could bring it back once it's dry and then we could paint it when we paint this. Mm -hmm. That would be good. Yeah, but don't paint this with watercolors. No, I think we'll use um, poster paint or acrylic paint, either one. We have both here. You also have golden road paint. Golden Road paint? Golden, golden road. <laughs> well, we are in the Golden Road. Do you know why our, why our, why our studio is called Golden Road? It's our golden studio? Road. Because it's on Golden Road. Very good, yeah. I think that's a fine looking snowman, Wes. It really like, looks oh, good. Oh my gosh, I forgot Artie's bow tie, everybody. <gasps> Already sorry, but you won't have a bow tie. Well, maybe there'll be enough clay left when now uh, Wes gets done with the arms. Oh, that was good. Very good. We want to get lots of pictures of that amazing snowman. Okay, we're going to take him outside and let him cook. I'll make Artie's bow tie. Artie. 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 Thanks for joining us at Golden Road Art. We had a good time today, and hopefully we're going to have a lot more. So uh, come and visit us again, and we'll be doing more projects for you to do um, sometimes stuff in your kitchen and sometimes not. Northwest artists are passionate about art, and Golden Road Arts extends their passion through education. In association with working artists, we're on an arts mission, supporting students, parents, and teachers with online live and recorded examples introducing children to art. Using simple interactive segments that dovetail with standardized state lesson plans, our programs are easy, fun, and reinforce valuable concepts about color, shape, lines, perspective, texture, and assembly, and use a variety of art materials, tools, and media. Lessons are short and fun and use school-friendly tools. We inspire students to learn art because there's a need for each child to create. The Golden Road Arts Nonprofit and Northwest Artists deliver accessible art projects for a range of ages. Golden Road Arts, encouraging and supporting the arts and arts education, now and for the future.